Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make an app or a game using Construct 2. So the first thing we need to do is go here to File and go to New. Go to New Empty Project and click Open. Yeah. So now you will have an empty new project. And the first thing we're going to want to do is name it. So we go here to this Projects bar and you see it has everything in here click on the place that says new project and you will notice that on the left it would say project settings so we can change the name here and I'm going to call it demo put the author give your name so everyone will know that it is your game and here in description you can put a description of a game so let's going to put a game we also have other options here the preview browser whenever we test the game it's going to be tested in a internet browser so you can choose whichever you want to use I'm going to use Firefox the next one here is full screen in browser if you want to be, you want to be full screen go to letterbox scale Just click that and it will be full screen when you run it so now the next thing we're going to want to do is if you notice here our, this is going to be our stage the dotted line shows where it cuts off and we can create other objects that are going to be on stage out here but for the purposes of our game we don't want our game to scroll in or out of this main viewable stage area so what I'm we're going to do what we so what we are going to do is check here where it says mouse it gives you the position of your mouse in pixels we go here and we see that corner is pretty much 640 by 480 so we gonna we are going to click on the background here and we see that it says layout size and layout size is the screen pretty much set to a, a screen here we want to change it to 640 by 480 and now we see that our stage is just the part that we want just uh, everything will be viewable on the screen of the person who's playing it So now we can create, start creating our characters that are going to be here. So double click anywhere on this window here and it's going to bring up the insert new object screen. Click on sprite and it's going to give you this thing, just click anywhere. And here you can create the, the art. If you already have art and you, you can just drag and drop it and it will create it for you. But for purposes of saving time, I'm just going to make a blue square because I don't want to draw something crazy here. So once you're done with that, just click X and you will have your character here. So here in objects, I'm going to rename Sprite to Hero as it is the hero of our game. And if you click on it, you will see here in common and object type properties. Uh, we can change the size here. I'm going to change it to 20 by 20 pixels. That way it won't take up the entire screen. And once we have that, we need to give it a behavior. So if you see here, it says behavior. And add edit. Click on behaviors. We're going to give it a new behavior. Because it is a platform game, we're going to want to give our main character the platform behavior. This will allow it to be controlled by the arrow keys on your keyboard and allow it to jump and things like that. We also want to give it another behavior. We want to bound it to layout because we don't want it to fly off the screen and disappear. So click OK and add. And those are its behaviors for our hero. Now we need an actual platform so that our hero can actually run it. So go back to the insert new object screen by double clicking anywhere on the window. Then you go to sprite. Click anywhere I went again. And we're going to want to make it a new color that stands out. So I'm going to color it gray. So now we have a new gray block. I'm going to name this block platform is our platform and I'm gonna want to resize it to a maybe a better size so the same way just go 200 by 20 pixels 
boxes. So it looks like a platform. And now you can kind of see how the game is going to work. See that these platforms are going to be falling from the top of the screen and our hero will jump from each platform try to not fall off. So we, to get the behavior for this platform here, first of all we need to give it the actual behavior of being a platform. So there are two, type pla two types of platform here in Construct 2. There is jump through and solid. Solid, you can't jump through it. it just, if you hit it, you, bounce, you stick or bounce off. But in jump through, you can actually jump through and then stay on top. So we're going to give it a jump through behavior. We're also going to want to give it a bullet behavior. Because bullet works as a projectile where it just moves in a certain direction. We want it to go straight down, so we're going to use bullet. So once again, we can go here to the variables and all these things here. Go to where it says speed and set it to zero. The reason I'm doing that is because the speed will pretty much determine how, how many pixels per second or whatever it's going to move in this direction. It's going to always move in Construct 2. The uh, degrees are zero going this way. 180 going this direction, 90 going this way, and 270 going straight up. But it, the thing is, it always moves according to, it's going to set the angle to a certain direction and move it. So if I was moving 270, this, this would actually spin and then go straight up. We want to take that off, so we go here to set angle, and we push, no. But we also wanted to have, the reason I set it at zero is because I want to use only the gravity to make it seem as it's falling. So I'm going to set the gravity to 100, so it's going to be falling. So now we have our platform ready, we're going to make another sprite. And this sprite is going to be what you don't want to f or your hero to fall on. So I'm going to make it a bot orange because I want it to look like fire. I'm going to call it fire. And we will put it all the way on the bottom of the screen here. And we should rename it to fire. So now you can see how the game works. If these things are falling, it's going to be jumpy. And if you miss, you fall on the fire and you lose. So now that we have all our characters ready, we can go to the event sheet and add events. So our first event is to create the platform. Now we want our platforms to fall randomly from top of the screen. So say this window here with the screen, we want them to just start falling down from here. So we go to system and we go to every X seconds. We should put about two second intervals and click done. So here, the way we see it is every two seconds the system will do this action here. So click on add action, go to system and create object, so create the object and the object that we're going to create is the platform. So click platform and here layer, we have only one layer so far. You can have more layers if you have a background or other things, but because we don't have that I'm just going to leave it on zero. Now if you remember we are talking about, if this was the actual window, we want things to fall straight up. So in a way our X and Y coordinates are going to be X goes this way and Y goes this way. And this will be here the origin. Y goes starts from zero and goes increases as you go down, which is the opposite of a normal graph, say in math. But here in X, it goes from zero to increasing when it goes this direction. So X is the same, Y is reversed. It's an easy way to remember it. So we want to, to be created randomly and construct2 has a random function which we call just as random. Put the parentheses. We want to be from about 610 to 620 which is about the same size as the screen but we make it a little bit smaller because we don't want it to come out say on the side of the screen where you have nowhere to jump and then you lose. 
because there is nowhere to jump. And our Y, we want to be created a little bit above. We don't want to just suddenly appear in the middle of the screen. So we're going to put it as negative 10. And then you click done. So now we have that event. Our next event is, if you remember, our hero is going to be jumping. But if it falls in the fire, we need, we need to lose the game. So we're going to make our new event if the hero. So click on hero. And here's an option called on collision with another object. So if it collides with something else. So click that one, on collision with another object. Next. Go to object. And the object that we want to collide with is a fire. And click done then something has to happen and that event is going to be we're going to restart the layout so this game starts over so go to system and here in general there is restart layout so click done for that so if you land the fire and restart so now we have to add another event the last one I need to explain why this is going to work but the reason why this happens we're going to make this next event because every time we create one randomly it's going to fall and it's going to keep going forever and ever and ever we don't want that to happen because every time one is created we need to the, the program will keep track of it and causing you to lose a little bit of RAM every single time we don't want to run out of memory so and cause a lag so we need to destroy them it's called destroy and it's construct 2 we just need to get rid of them well, when we're gonna make it so that when it collides, it disappears or it gets destroyed. So here, go to add event, and if our platform once again collides, so on collision with another object, and that object being the fire, then we need to get rid of the platform. So I'm going to add object, platform, and destroy here. Destroy. And that is our script. So now we can test our game and see if it works. Uh, it's working the way we want it to work. So let me put this a little bit higher so I have more time to jump on the first one. These are going to appear straight up. So push play at the top and the game will run. So you can see we're jumping. But our character. Our hero doesn't seem to be able to jump high enough, making this game practically impossible. So we need to go change that. So you can exit here. Click on your hero. Go to the behavior area. And you see how it has a jump strength. It's a six at, set at 650. So we're going to test maybe a thousand so you can jump higher. And then click back into it. So here again, it can go to run layout. Just click that. And we'll run it. So now you can see I can jump much higher, making it the game more passable. Uh, you know, yeah, I lost, <laughs> which means everything's working fine. If I touch the fire, I lose and it starts over. All right, so thank you for watching this. I'm going to set up another video explaining how to make them see like a main menu and things like that.